Hey everybody, how is it going? In this video, I will be showing you guys how to quickly and easily get the rogues outfit, and this set is very useful for getting twice the loot from pickpocketing NPCs. For the recommended items, I would suggest you bring a games necklace, about 8 to 10 stamina potions, about 20 to 25 super energy potions, or if you want to save some money, you can instead bring 50 regular energy potions. Also, you do not need any armor or weapons for this minigame. I highly recommend that if you haven't, get the rune-like client because it will make this minigame much easier for you guys, and I have posted a link to the client in the description box below. If you don't want to get the client, it will be a little bit more difficult to follow along, but it shouldn't be a problem to complete this minigame. So to get here, you will need to come to the Berthor pub. The fastest way to get here is by using a game necklace teleport and using the Berthor option and then running southeast into the pub. When you get here, you want to enter through the trap door on the southwestern part right here and then to climb down. When you're down here, you want to go through the door and speak to the NPC Brian or Richard. So find Brian or Richard, speak to him, and he'll ask you if there's a challenge. Select the first option, yes, actually, what have you got? Skip through the dialogue, say, okay, that sounds good. And once you're through the dialogue, you will now have access to the minigame. So for the people who have never done the Rogue Stand minigame before, I'm just going to talk about a few things before we start, but I feel like the best way to teach you how to do the minigame is just to show you guys how I navigate through the maze, as you will have to complete this maze multiple times. Every time that you complete the maze, you have a 1 in 8 chance of receiving a Rogue's Equipment Crate, and since there are 5 Rogue pieces that you need to get, it means that you need to get 5 Rogue Equipment Crates, and that could take up to 40 tries before you get the full set. So it really depends on how lucky or unlucky that you get. My other account only took me 9 tries and it only took me about 20 minutes to get the full set. Other than that, I will first show you guys the low requirement route which only requires 50 thieving and 50 agility. If you have 80 thieving and 50 agility, I will post a timestamp on the screen right now where you can skip forward and this route takes about half the time to complete. So before we start any of the mazes, make sure to come to the west side here of the Rogue's Den and bank at Emerald Benedict and deposit all the stuff in your inventory as well as your, all your armor pieces. So I'll first show you guys the 50 thieving and 50 agility route. So what you want to do is drink a dose of your stamina potion and then bank it at Emerald Benedict. And what you want to do is you want to run up north. And I'm going to zoom out quite a bit here because the map is quite small in this resizable screen here. So what you want to do is if you have the rune like client, it will highlight all the different boxes here. So I'll show you guys the exact route and just follow along the best you can. So what you want to do is run right past these blue squares and then you want to enter through the contortion bars here. And then you want to keep running through the passageway and then you want to run right past the pendulum and your guy will just run right through. You'll now enter the next part of the maze here. So what you want to do is just kind of squeak by and walk through this ledge and just bypass this whole thing by walking across this ledge until you hit these little mushrooms here. And then once you do that, you can now open up the grill and you will have avoided all those traps right there. And then you want to keep running east and make sure to pause before going through this trap. Stand on the west side, just one block west of this trap. And then you want to just click on this empty square right here. And make sure to have your run energy on when you're doing this maze as well. Now what you want to do is you want to run to this northern part here where there's an empty square. There's no trap there so just run across there. And then what you want to do just run across into this empty spot here. And then just stand one st step away from these two traps right here. Make sure to have your run energy on and then just sprint right across those two traps. And then you want to enter the next part of the maze right here. Avoid the northern part here and just climb the ledge on the southern part. When your guy gets across, just run past through this passage. Avoid the room with the flash powders and keep running south. And then you'll see some saw blades on the floor. Just stand on the bloody tile just the west of the those spinning saw blades. And just click on the black part of the spinning saw blade to get past. And your guy will be able to jump right through. And what you want to do, just keep running south. And you will see some more pendulums here. Just run right across and your guy will jump right through automatically. And then what you want to do is climb the ledge once you get past. Once you get past the obstacle, you can keep running through the passage. 
and you'll see another set of traps right here. What you want to do is you want to pause before you go through these traps. Just stand one step away from this first square right here. And then you want to click this square right here and just make sure to have your run energy on. And then you just want to click that square. You want to pause again. Make sure you don't just uh, rush through this part of the maze. And then you want to run southeast. So what you want to do, enter through the passage, and that will bring you to the next part here. Just run across, and that will go through right through the saw blade. Keep running through the passage, and you'll see another passageway door that you can go through. Once you're past this door, then you can turn the screen just a little bit, and you'll see another set of traps right here. Before you go through the traps, uh, just stand one step north of this first trap here, and then you can run south. And then you'll see some more traps here. Just click over here and your guy will automatically run through the traps without any problems whatsoever. And you want to enter through the passageway on the south. Go through the grill here. And what you want to do is you want to go just south of these two weird looking squares. And then you want to run east and that will bypass the spinning saw blades. And then you want to climb the southern ledge right here. Now for the next part, what you want to do is you want to search the southern west part of the wall here. And you're going to have to search the wall twice, so you're going to want to search the one east of that first part. And your guy will search the next one. And once you have done that, you want to run across these two traps and your guy will bypass it. So now you'll see a whole bunch of spinning saw blades. So what you want to do is you want to stand just east of this second saw blade on the bottom here. And then click on the black part of the spinning saw blade and your guy will jump across. And now you've bypassed all those traps. So what you want to do now is you'll see a whole bunch of tiles on the floor. You want to pick up the southeastern tile that's closest to the door. And you want to click the door. And all you have to do, which is very simple, just click the square and it'll say OK. And your guy will go right through the door. So that part is very simple. Now what you want to do is you want to follow along with me. So you want to enter through the first grill and then enter the southern grill here. Then you want to enter through this eastern grill right here and run to the northern part here and open up the northeastern grill. Then you want to open up the grill on the southeastern side here. And then you want to run south and open up this grill on the southern eastern side here. And then you want to make a little U-turn here and open up this northern part of the grill right here. Then you want to open up the western grill. And then you want to open up this southern grill and you will bypass this throughout this whole maze so just keep running through this passageway keep running through and before you go through this part of the wall here you want to stand west of these three traps make sure to have your run energy on and to pause as well you can't just run right through it you need a pause right here and then you can run through and that will bypass those three traps and now you want to open up the grill. And before entering this part here, make sure to have your run energy on. And then you just want to open up the grill. And that will bypass those three traps. So for this part, make sure to stand one step away from these three traps right here. Make sure to pause as well. Make sure to stop in your tracks before going th through those three traps. Have your run energy on and then sprint across. And that will bypass those three traps. Then what you want to do, just... Uh, click somewhere farther away here and that will bypass the pendulum and then you can go ahead and run right past that trap So there will be two sets here You want to enter the southern part here and what you want to do is stand on that bloody tile and just stop there Make sure to have your run energy on before doing this But you want to click on this square right here and that will bypass the first two traps right there Make sure to stop in your tracks don't move and then you can keep running through the passage That will bypass that part of the maze and there will be another maze right here. What you want to do is stand one step away from this first square right here. Make sure to not move before you do this and have your run energy on. And you want to click this middle tile right in between the cross. Make sure to stop and then make sure to have your run energy on again. And then run through this part and you will bypass that whole part of the maze. Keep running through the passageway and you'll see some flash powders on the ground. What you want to do is you can pick up the southern one right here. And what you want to do, you'll see a rogue guard on this northern western part of the passage. What you want to do 
throw the flash powder at the rogues guard and the moment you see the animation of your guy throwing the flash powder just run past the, the guard and that will bypass that part of the maze you'll see some more pendulums here just click past it and your guy will run through do that once again for this next one and you'll pretty much have completed this mage all you need to do is crack the wall safe by right clicking the wall and you will have a 1 in 8 chance of receiving a rogue's equipment crate if you have failed it you will also receive nothing or you will receive a rogue's kit if you're lucky you will have received a rogue's equipment crate all you have to do is open up the crate select the first part a piece of rogue's equipment and just choose whichever rogue equipment that you don't have so right now i don't have the boots and then what you want to do just go ahead go back to the bank fill up your energy and uh, also drink a dose of your stamina potion and repeat the process until you have all the rogue pieces so i'll now show you guys the 80 thieving and 50 agility requirement route so what you want to do for this route is drink a dose of your stamina potion bank it at emerald benedict so you have nothing in your inventory and then just run north until you hit the gate you want to open up this doorway and like I said, if you have the rune-like client, it's very easy to follow along. And just try to follow along with what I'm doing here. So what you want to do is run right past these traps and enter the contortion bars right there. And keep running east through the passageway. Avoid this maze. And then what you want to do is run past and click over here and that will avoid the pendulum. Your guy will run right through. And what you want to do is just run across the ledge right here. Run south and that will avoid all these traps here and avoid that trap there. And then run east until you hit this mushroom patch here and then you can open up this grill keep running through the passageway and before you go through this part of the maze what you want to do is just stand one step away from this western wall before you go through make sure you have your run energy on and then you can click this empty square that has no traps then what you want to do make sure you have your run energy on for this whole part you want to click this part where there's no traps at all and then you want to click here and that will bypass throughout this whole maze for this next part here, just stand one step away from these two steps here before stepping on this trap. Make sure to pause as well, and then you can sprint across. And that will bypass those two traps right there. Then you want to avoid this northern part. Just come down to the southern part and climb the ledge. Once your guy gets over, just keep running through the passage. I'll turn the screen just a little bit. Avoid the room right here with the flash powders and keep running south until you hit the spinning blades. And what you want to do is stand on that bloody tile right there. Just click the black part of the spinning blade and that will be able to get you bypassed through the spinning blades. And now you want to go through these pendulums right when you get past those spinning blades. Just click somewhere on this part and that will bypass the pendulums. And you want to climb this ledge. Now you want to keep running through the passage here. And you'll see another part of the maze here. So what you want to do before you want to go through that maze, you want to stop right here. Make sure to have your run energy on and then click this square right here. And that will bypass that part. Make sure to stop right there. And then you can go ahead and run through and you'll have gone through that maze. And like I said, if you have 80 thieving, you can pick lock this door and that will bypass a lot of the maze and it'll make it a lot quicker. So what you want to do, enter the contortion bars right here. Once you get through, you can click this part of the mini map where my mouse is hovering and just click close to the gate. Your guy will kind of just hug this part of the wall past these spinning blades. And what you want to do here is you want to open up the grill and that'll go right through there. And now you want to run up north into this part right here. You'll see another maze. What you want to do is you want to stop right here. Make sure to have your run energy on before doing this. And you want to click the middle of this cross and your guy will sprint through those traps make sure to stop there and then you can run across if you kind of just go through that whole thing you will get hit by the trap and you'll have to restart the maze so make sure to do exactly what i just did there so for this next part what you want to do is there's two flash powders just pick up one of the flash powders on the ground there and you'll see a rogue guard on the northwestern part of this passage what you want to do here is you want to click on your flash powder click on the rogue's guard and the moment your guy throws the flash powder at the guard quickly run past and you'll have bypassed the guard there and make sure not to get hit by him because you will have to restart the maze as well so now you have to get past these pendulums very very easy just kind of click past them and you'll be able to pass the pendulums and then you'll have completed the maze 
just right click one of the walls to crack the wall safe and hopefully you have gotten a rogues equipment crate just like me. If you're lucky you will have received a rogues equipment crate. All you have to do is open up the crate, select the first part a piece of rogues equipment and just choose whichever rogue equipment that you don't have. So right now I don't have the boots and then what you want to do just go ahead go back to the bank fill up your energy and uh, also drink a dose of your stamina potion and repeat the process until you have all the rogue pieces. Anyways, that is it for my guide on how to do the Rogue Stand minigame and how to get the Rogue set. Very easy and very simple. If it has helped you out, please make sure to leave a like on this video so more people can find this video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.